Hi there, if you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and I have done rhythmic gymnastics for a very long time. I did the Commonwealth Games last year and the World Championships. So I have quite a lot of experience and my favourite apparatus is actually the ball. So today we're going to be doing a beginner's apparatus tutorial on the ball. Just getting that basic handling, get a nice foundation so that you can learn some harder elements. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button because I would super appreciate it and I'll be making more tutorials like this very soon. So hopefully it will be helpful for you. Let's get right to it. So first I want to talk about how to hold the ball correctly. So you want to hold the ball out with your fingers slightly spread. You don't want to see any creases in the ball, it's just got to be perfectly flat and your fingers slightly spread. On the same time you don't want cupping so it shouldn't be um, touching your forearm in any way. It should just be gently in your hand like that and that's how it should be in all the routines that you do. Otherwise uh, this is a point one deduction, that's a point one deduction, but this is absolutely fine. So that's how you want to hold your ball at all times. Now that we know how to hold the ball correctly, we're just going to do a really simple exercise just using what we've just learned. So you're going to put the ball out to the front, holding it nicely, and go to the side and back to the front. We're going to do this ten times. Off we go. Now let's try it on the other arm. You want your elbow to be slightly soft when you're doing this. Especially if you have hyperextended elbows, it's good to try and get into a habit of keeping them nice and soft. Now we're just going to try a simple basic roll. What you need to do is roll it gently up your tummy with your hands and then roll it down your arms. Rolling up and then rolling down. And again we need to make sure that we're not going to be cupping our apparatus so when we roll it we don't want to be have it on a downward slope and also if it's on a downward slope it's more likely to roll away. So what we want to do is roll up our tummy and down our arms and lift it at the last minute so we don't get the cupping with the hands at the end. We don't want that. We want it to lift up at the end so there's no cupping. Should we give it a go? We're gonna do 10. Here we go. exercise we're going to do is just a simple hand exercise with the ball. We're going to put the ball out in front of you and you want to go over the top and round. This will come with practice, it, it sometimes doesn't come straight away if you're very new to apparatus sanding and your ball goes over the top and round. Like a circular movement with the ball. It's nice for like when you're going to go into a leap or something to have this as just an extra little bit of handling or for dance steps. It's really handy. Let's try this 10 times on each hand. Don't worry, just give it your best attempt if you're struggling with this element. Right, let's do the other hand. Good job. Now onto the next exercise. 
This next basic handling is again really good for dance steps or just in between steps or even balances. You put one hand over the other and you roll it. This should be quite easy but don't worry if you can't get it straight away. We're going to do 10 forwards and 10 backwards. I think you'd probably find that the backwards ones are a little bit more tricky but let's give it a go. Perfect, now let's go backwards. Good job. The key to this one is just keeping it consistent. If you slow down and speed up, the ball becomes a bit uneven and difficult to control. On to our next exercise. The next thing we're gonna be looking at is bouncing. Now bouncing may seem pretty easy, but the way we bounce in rhythmic gymnastics is quite specific. You don't want to be banging the ball down onto the floor. Just nice, gentle, going through the fingers. We need to keep, treat our apparatus with respect, and so here's how to do it. When you bounce it, you want to go through the fingertips, not with the palm, because that makes that awful noise. Nice through our fingertips, keeping the ball nice and steady. You'll find that some balls are bouncier than others, for example Shakot is bouncier than this Sazaki ball, but it will really go to preference. Let's just do 10 simple ball bounces. Here we go. Well done. Now let's try it with the other hand. Good job. You can be very creative with whatever bounces you like to do, like bounce on the chest, bounce on the head, bounce on the elbow. It's really your preference, whatever you think you'd like to try. So you can have some time experimenting, seeing which places you can bounce off of, because that can be quite fun. Now we're going to go on to figures of eight, which again is another fundamental apparatus element in rhythmic gymnastics. In a figure of eight, you want to be keeping consistency all the way around. So the ball doesn't dip or go higher than 90 at all times. Again, we don't want to be gripping the ball or hooking it in any way. Let's give it a go. So first, you perform a small circular inward motion, making sure not to hook with the ball, but to keep it nicely in your palm. And then you're gonna go around to the side, to the back and round, trying to keep it at the same level at all times. You can also go the other way, this way, reverse it and back in. Let's give that a few more goes. Don't worry if you're not quite able to do it yet. Keep practicing and you'll get there. Small circular motion in, making sure we're not hooking the ball, but keeping it nice and flat on our hands. And then try and do a equal so the ball isn't dipping, for example, like this. If it goes down and then up and round. That would be incorrect. We want to try and keep it at the same level the whole way around when we go. So inwards, out, round, and the other way. Out, inwards, round. If you would like to add some head as well, that's really good for the articulation of the spine, because this is also working our backs as well as our arm flexibility. Let's do five on each hand. Let's go. Extend the ball out when you go. Extend. Let's try the other hand.
good job. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, a bit of an introduction to ball handling, there's so much you can do with it, but this is again just the very basics, so we, I will be doing more tutorials, looking at some more advanced movements, but this is going to give you a good foundation for those future tutorials, so please comment down below if you found this helpful. I found these exercises uh, really vitally important when I was first learning how to do rhythmic gymnastics they are pretty much the basis for all the things that are to come in the future so I would recommend trying to do this tutorial as much as you can to really get those basics solidified before you go into anything more difficult. I'll be doing some more advanced tutorials so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so that you won't miss out on them. I also sell some uh, merch so if you're interested in buying some of that the link will be in the description and remember to dream big and make it happen.